Today we're going to show you Polaris Office. Polaris Office is an application that comes with the Samsung Note. Here's Polaris Office. Let's go ahead and open it. If this is your first time opening Polaris Office, it will invite you to register with Infraware. I'm going to go ahead and skip so that we can get right into the program. The first thing you'll notice are three different options here that show you what an Excel spreadsheet looks like, a Word document, and even a PowerPoint presentation. These quick, easy guides are fantastic references to get started. We'll come back to those in just a moment. Now I want to show you the file system within Polaris Office. This is going to help you find files and also manage your files um, as you create them and as you search for them. The first one is your browser. The browser is actually the entire file system within your tablet. So you can come in here, you can look for documents that you've created previously, you can sort documents, you can even create folders and uh, really just manage the data right here. But again, that, this browser is browsing data that is present on the device. You have another option here, and this is really a, a very robust option, and that is to sign into a cloud service. You can add a bunch of different types of clouds here. Here's your uh, Dropbox option. You have Google Docs um, and also Box.net. This will help you access any kind of um, files directly from your cloud and also help you share your files with other people's clouds. You can sort by form type. So if you know that you're looking for a, uh, a Word file, then you can sort by your Word files. You can also sort by, um, obviously, your Excel spreadsheets and your PowerPoint presentations. The last option here are favorites. So if you've got a document that you're working on right now, you can go ahead and star it as a favorite, and you'll be able to find it quickly in there. So those are the four different ways we can access documents. The next thing I want to bring your attention to is in the upper right hand corner. We've got a menu. It's three bars. If you were to hit help from here, you can see tutorials on some of the subjects I covered today, as well as many others right here in the user guide. There's a lot of information in here. Um, it's, it's very well written, and there's a lot of uh, pictures in here to help you along. So let's say you wanted to know more about editing documents. Perhaps you wanted to know more about the font formatting. You'll notice that they do, in fact, have images to help supplement your learning. Let's go ahead and back out. The first thing I'm going to show you is Excel. So let's go ahead into the guide for editing Excel spreadsheets. This is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, this will show you how to edit uh, Excel spreadsheets. Um, it's very similar to Microsoft Excel. Um, a lot of the features remain. Um, you can go into this guide and learn a little bit more about some of the finer tasks here, but let me show you a couple of uh, really neat functions. Um, the first is, um, as you scroll with a single finger, you can scroll up and down. You can also pinch and pull to zoom in and out of the document. Most of your functions you're going to find here under the wrench. And from here, you can edit the text of the document. Uh, you can increase and decrease the point size, change colors, just like you would on any other Excel spreadsheet. Uh, you also have effects, your alignment, what type of numbers they are, or if this is just a general entry. Uh, so again, you're going to notice a lot of very similar functionality here between this and Excel. Um, if you're looking for a little more help, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see those three bars. That's a menu system. You can take a look in here and you'll find even more functionality. You've got filters, sorting, uh, and even this nifty zoom in and out, which allows you to really see those cells and get in there. Okay, let's go ahead and back out of here and I'll show you a Word document. So here's a Word document. Again, this, it opened up quite large here, so I'm going to zoom this down and let's pull it down here. 
And this is just another tutorial on how to edit Word documents. It goes over things fairly quickly, uh, but it is a good read. Again, you're going to have all the functionality that you're looking for. If you were to select an area, you can go ahead and either uh, use your text to type, um, or you can use your keyboard. Let's say you would uh, like to proofread your work. You can click an area, and in the upper right-hand corner, click the menu. You can hit text to speech, and the device. Paragraph formatting. Click the property as a context in the title bar after selecting text in. The device will actually begin reading your text back to you. It's a really neat feature. Beyond that, you have uh, quite a few different options here. Again, this is very much like Word. Uh, you can click on any area, click on your wrench, format your text, change your point size and see it reflected directly into the document. Uh, you can change your colors. And again, you'll see it reflected right on the document immediately. Change your effects. Um, here are a bunch of different fonts for you. There's also paragraph uh, style changes where you can justify and do your left justification or center justification. And you also have some pretty neat little style options here as well. Let's go ahead and back out and I'll show you the last option. Don't save. Okay, finally that leaves us with the PowerPoint editing software. You'll notice it looks very much like PowerPoint. You end up with your slides on the left-hand side here on a quick viewer. You can scroll up and down. This is your actual slide that people would be seeing, so you can move around here. You can also use your finger. You can pinch to see the entire slide or pull to zoom in on a particular item. And as you scroll through, you'll notice that your slides pop up. You, of course, have all the editing functions that you're looking for. You have this neat little play button, which is a little different from the other uh, software there. And this is your PowerPoint as it exists. And you can punch through just like you would on your standard PowerPoint. So uh, one thing to definitely take away from this is that Polaris Office really does mimic the tools that you're used to using uh, through Microsoft that you've been using for the last few years. So this interface should be quite comfortable for you. Again, if you have any additional questions, you can go up here into Help. Click on the User's Guide, and you'll see quite a bit of information in here that should help you along. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to give us a call.